When you look at Freddie Mercury's solo career, you may think of Barcelona. Freddie Mercury's collaboration with Montserrat Caballé, or even Freddie Mercury's recent Time Waits for No One. But when I look at Freddie Mercury's solo career, I am automatically drawn to Made in Heaven. No, not that Made in Heaven, this Made in Heaven. And that is because the song Made in Heaven is intriguing. If that be from the music video to the lyrics. Yet, from looking at the lyrics, I've come to the conclusion that the song may be about Freddie Mercury's thoughts on fame. So allow me, a Queen fan of some time, to prove why Made in Heaven is about Freddie Mercury's thoughts on fame. Before we dive into the analysis of this song, allow me to explain any outstanding information about this song. Although, if you wish to skip this section, head to this time. Okay, Made in Heaven was written and recorded by Freddie Mercury around 1984, and was said to be featured on Freddie Mercury's solo album, Mr. Bad Guy, which was released in late April of 1985. Sadly, Mr. Bad Guy is seen as a failure by many, and I won't go into why the album was a failure, because that's a video for a different time. Howbeit, Made in Heaven was released in July of 1985 and reached number 57 on the UK single chart. Nevertheless, Made in Heaven is seen as one of the best tracks on Mr. Bad Guy. Along with Living on My Own, I Was Born to Love You and the song of the same name, Mr. Bad Guy. Right, on to the analysis. The title Made in Heaven makes sense because this is how the public, and especially Freddie Mercury's fans, perceive him. They believe he is made in heaven. As he is a star, a celebrity if you will, and is put on a pedestal. They see Freddie Mercury writing masterpieces such as Bohemian Rhapsody, and performing live with his astounding voice in front of hundreds of thousands. I mean, no wonder they believe he is made in heaven. As for the lyrics, let's hear lines 1 and 2 of verse 1. Taking my ride with destiny, willing to play my part. Going from the first line, I'm taking my ride of destiny, this is Freddie Mercury saying that he is taking his ride through life. He does not know what events the future may hold. And as for willing to play my part, this is an obvious nod towards Freddie Mercury saying he is willing to play his part in life. If that be writing songs or performing live, because that's what he does. Or it could also be the celebrity part of having to play his part in life, such as having his photo taken constantly, or interviews. And as we all know, Freddie Mercury didn't do interviews very often, because he just wanted to write songs and perform. And as for the next two lines in verse 1, Living with painful memories, loving with all my heart. Through Freddie Mercury's existence so far, he has collected painful memories, but he remains hopeful and continues to show he is loving with all his heart. He can't give in to these painful memories as his life is always moving and changing, with him being in the public eye, so he has to be optimistic and not get too bogged down in the negatives of life. Now, Made in Heaven, which is repeated twice, is the same as what we said for the title. That's how the public, and especially Freddie Mercury's fans, see Mercury. And as for it was all meant to be, that's Freddie Mercury saying, perhaps it was meant to be, perhaps this is his role in life, perhaps he was meant to be famous. It's almost as if Freddie Mercury was overwhelmed by the fame, and found it hard to process what his life was and had been so far. I mean, you have got to remember that if he wrote this song around 1984, he had already been with Queen when they were at their peak in popularity in the early 80s with Another One Bites the Dust, and Queen were obviously around throughout the 70s, so he had experienced being incredibly famous for almost a decade. Now, Made in Heaven is repeated again, so we'll skip that and go on to the next line. That's what they say. I'm going to make it clear that the semi a cappella version says cannot see instead of can't you see for some reason, so just ignore that minor annoyance. Freddie Mercury is implying that that's what the public and his fans say. It was all meant to be, he is made in heaven. It sounds as if he is not indignant about people putting him on a pedestal, but he finds it baffling, as if saying, why me?
This is similar to what we just discussed. It's the same thing but emphasized, with Freddie Mercury stating everybody says this to him, and there is the repetition of can't you see, as if he wants the listener to open their eyes and care for his situation. Freddie Mercury expresses that he should know it's true. That's what the public and his fans would expect him to imagine. He should always think that he is made in heaven as if he is some kind of god. I see that the Freddie Mercury character didn't write this song. This song is written by the Freddie Mercury we never see as the public. The song is written by the actual Freddie Mercury, Farrokh Bulsara. Farrokh Bulsara is shocked by the fame he is receiving, but feels as if he should put on the Freddie Mercury persona, and just think, yes, I am made in heaven, it was meant to be. It's as if the real Freddy and the persona-driven Freddy clash in this song, and as he sings deep in my heart, this is Freddie Mercury saying to himself that this made in heaven thing really matters and he should believe that he is made in heaven. I'm having to learn to pay the price, they're turning me upside down. Freddie Mercury is having to pay for his fame, not in monetary terms, yet more in terms of how the press treat him. As we all know, the press were always portraying Freddie Mercury in a negative light. The press are turning him upside down, as if the press see him as too privileged, with becoming rich and famous, so they want to publish intrusive articles on him. Here we have Freddie Mercury hinting that at this point in his career, he doesn't see many possibilities. You've got to remember that around 1984, Queen had been going for over a decade, and now he is attempting to launch a solo career. However, he wonders what other things he can do in life after this. There aren't many possibilities, where does he go from here? It's almost as if the fame had restricted him, and he is an artist, and that's how people will always see him. Surprisingly enough, Freddie Mercury told a biographer he felt imprisoned by fame which is dreadful, as he longed for anonymity and normality, and I think he thought that if he had had that normality in life he would have had more possibilities, rather than feeling imprisoned by his own fame and success. We touched on this earlier, but in summary, everyone can see why he is made in heaven. From listening to the breathtaking songs he wrote, to watching the show-stopping performances him and the band pulled off. Once again, we looked at something similar to this earlier. So keeping it brief, he is told by many he is great, spectacular. Everybody sees him as being made in heaven. We'll just skip these next four lines of the chorus because I don't want to be repeating myself. When stormy weather comes around, it was made in heaven. I find this to be fascinating, and the reason for that is, the stormy weather is a metaphor for all the negativity Freddie Mercury faces, most likely from the press. However, Freddie Mercury thinks if he was made in heaven, then the hate he experiences must be made in heaven too, since the hate is directed towards him. The sunny skies is a metaphor for the positivity Freddie Mercury experiences in his life. If that be from the fun he has writing songs and performing live, to the people around him such as his band members or close friends. The good will always outweigh the bad no matter how hard things get. Even though being in the limelight isn't easy, Freddie Mercury will always remember the sunny skies. And he wants these sunny skies to remain as he belts out the lyrics. To find my goal. Freddie Mercury is playing his role in history, hoping that years from now he will be remembered. Yet, Freddie Mercury is still looking to find his goal in life. Which is strange, it's as if he wants to do so much more. Taking in all this misery, but giving it all my soul. These two lines are similar to two others we looked at earlier, so I'll keep this brief. The misery is always around Freddie Mercury, but he will overcome this misery, trying as hard as he can in his life to get away from the sorrow. The last chorus is similar to what we have discussed so far, with everyone seeing him as being made in heaven. But something that does change is the ending of this chorus, which is the end of the song. Written 
Freddie Mercury is suggesting that he will be remembered as being made in heaven. He will be remembered as someone very special as it is written in the stars for everyone to see. If you have seen one of my song analysis videos before, you already know that I like to discuss the music video briefly. And this music video is different, shall we say. If you ever wondered what hell looked like, then here is a good example. We can see people dressed up as the devil surrounding Freddie Mercury. In this video, Freddie Mercury is wearing a costume that reminds me a lot of the costume for It's a Hard Life or Radio Gaga, which makes sense considering these songs were published at a similar time to when this song was being written. Nonetheless, I may do a whole video looking at this music video, but as for now, that's all I've got to say for the music video. To wrap things up, this was a song I just had to analyse. This song is deep in meaning and is one of those few songs that really got into what Freddie Mercury was thinking, especially with how he saw his fame. You could see that throughout the song, Freddie Mercury attempted to remain optimistic, even though he knows there is a lot of negativity that surrounds him. In addition, I couldn't help but feel as if Freddie Mercury was puzzled at the time of writing this song. After experiencing fame for a while, he found it to be more of a hindrance than anything of any real benefit. And it saddens me to hear that one of my favourite artists may have found it hard to deal with their own success. Nevertheless, at least Freddie Mercury was able to remain hopeful, no matter how challenging things became. Hello if you're still here, thanks for checking out this video. I know this isn't the most upbeat song to analyse, although it was a song that eventually needed to be looked at. I can't help but feel as if Freddie Mercury's solo career consisted of some of the artist's most interesting songs lyrically. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe for more Queen-related content. Bye!